People at a North Austin apartment complex are worried after police say a man got inside and sexually assaulted a woman. The victim told officers that she answered a knock at a door and then the suspect pointed a gun at her and forced his way inside. Kexan's Alex Capriello spoke to neighbors who say they see too much crime outside of their doors. You know, now because of this, they have to do more. One day after a woman was robbed and sexually assaulted in her own apartment, People living in the Avesta Solano complex say they don't feel safe. Just recently we started hearing the stabbing, you know, a shooting, uh, now this, you know. So it's getting bad. Raquel Searles has a home full of kids and grandkids. She says she's constantly reminding her family to stay alert. I personally will not open the door. I tell my kids all the time, I don't care who knocks, don't open. Lachey Jones takes precautions every time she heads to her building, but says she's constantly concerned. Management has yet to install a peephole on her door since she moved in over a month ago. If someone knocks on my door and I don't know who it is, I literally have to go into my bedroom, look through my window and see if I recognize the person before I answer the door. I spoke to the management to see how they were responding to yesterday's attack. They couldn't tell me any new precautions they were taking, only that they have two security guards on the premises after hours. Not until recently we started seeing these gentlemen, you know, security guards walk around. If we engage with our other neighbors more and know who we're living next to, we have a better chance of figuring out who doesn't belong here so that we can keep us and our children safe. In Austin, Alex Capriello, KXAN News. Austin police believe the suspect in the sexual assault was in the area hours before the attack, possibly as early as noon, and he may have been with an Hispanic woman. This is a look at the suspect's description. Police say he's a Hispanic man in his late 30s with short black hair and a mustache. He had a tattoo under his left eye and on both arms down to his wrists. He is about five foot seven and has a medium to heavy set build. If you have any information about what happened, call Austin police. And police also tell us they don't think this case is related to a string of attacks on women in the area. Take a look. Since February 1st, three women were targeted in these three areas. Miller Boulevard, Clayton Lane, and Jollyville Road. In two of the cases, the suspect forced his way into an apartment and sexually assaulted the woman inside. Investigators say today that the description of this suspect in this most recent case is different than the others.